Hello. Trail here. Unboxing time. Got about three things. Um, two animes and one manga volume. Because I don't want to fall behind on the new releases. So I decided I will slowly fill in the gap while I get rather the new releases for One Piece. But I'm 63 and I got this bitch right at because I don't think this comes out until like the end of this month. You got Shirohoshi, Zoro, Luffy, Megalo, Orihime, and Fisher Tiger, which we actually just got past this part in the anime. And we're now on volume 64 material, I believe. Yeah, we're on volume 64 material. So this is Beast. The volume necessarily isn't the greatest, but... And they, apparently they just, they just call this New World, which is going to seem really awkward. It's like you go from what? What would it be? I guess it would be like Post Marine Ford, New World, Punk Hazard. So I can't wait until we get like a Volume 67 cover because I want to see what the new Punk Hazard like Volume looks like. But this is this is nice, and I am I am a Shirohoshi fan, but I don't give a fuck. This covers all the way up until the end of the flashback. I think like the last thing in here is like actually I don't even think the flashback is done. Is it? No, because Odohime. Yeah, it ends on her death. It ends on Odohime's death. So we still have like a few more flashback chapters and then we will finish that shit off in 64. And 64, if I remember, has that Beast cover. Is it 64? I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think 64 is the one that has kind of like the cool ass cover with. Uh... Actually, I don't even know if I'm thinking of the right one. I'm thinking of the one with like all the Straw Hats together with like their powers, but. With Jinbei on the cover, that everyone thinks that that was like the cover that solidified him as like a tenth crew member, but I don't think that is it. So, anyways, I'm rambling. There's really not much to say. The back, color page, Viz, Shirohoshi, it's cool. Okay, so next thing is actually something I had watched the series of, and people can see my review on my Game Manic channel. I mean, my Insane Game Freak channel. Uh, I didn't necessarily like the series that much, but I'm trying it as a dub because I've been watching the dub clips and I thought the dub clips were really fucking funny. So I'm thinking this is one of those animes that I thought it would be, because this is what I thought when I first watched it, that it's probably going to be one of those animes where it's so much better as a dub than a English, because mainly it just feels like it should have been an American show anyway. That is Penny and Stocking! Drop those biatches, bitches. Wait, be really? Oh, no, no. Drop those britches, bitches. There we go. That one sounded cool. And um, as you can see, coin. Um, for those who want to know how good the quality of the coin is, um, and for those who don't know, the coin is just a simulation of Heaven's Coin. You know, the coins that they got when they destroyed, uh, are they just called demons? I don't even know if they had a technical term. Anyways, here's the coin. Oh. The back just has the logo on it. If it focuses, for the love of God. Focus. I'm going to have to manually focus it in a second. Sorry. Focus. Focus. Alright, hold on. Give me one second. I'm trying to get this tape off my hands. Let me go over here from autofocus. Take that off, and then hold this up, and then manually focus it so you can see. How's that? So that says Penny and Stocking. See? Penny and Stocking. And then the other half, I believe, is just a coin symbol, which looks pretty cool. Uh, the coin is actually pretty good quality. I like it. I like the detail. So I, I like this. Personally, for me, though, I was hoping for an actual soundtrack. Let me put the audio focus back on. And that would have been cooler for me because, honestly, come on. I think the biggest praise about Penny and Stocking in general is the OST. So it's like, if your bonus had been the audio CD, people would have lost their shit because the OST for this show is awesome. It's like, even if you don't like the show, you got to admit the OST for this shit is awesome. Like, Fly away. <laughs> like, you can't really, and the thing is, you can't really do the, like, you can't sing the OST, but, ah, Pan Suck has a Beast OST. And they're still doing this thing where they have, like, this back part, but it's not connected, which kind of makes, 
What the fuck is the point? I'm thinking this is just for the sake of retail. But even if it is, it's just retarded. And this is just DVD. I don't think they got the rights to the Blu-ray, which a lot of people are kind of shitting themselves. But then again, for me, the animation wasn't really worth it. So you kind of got painting stocking on the front. And then you got the, the, the evil, their evil devil sister counterparts on the back. Scanty and... Scanty and... What is it? Scanty and... It's like Scanty and something else. Scanty and... I know it's painting, stocking, scanning, and I don't remember. I don't remember the other sister's name. I don't. So the first disc has panty on the front, and then you have panty and stocking. Uh, I, I think the dub voices are gonna be hilarious. Cause I even laughed at some of the clips they showed. Well, uh, this is just one of those animes I think will probably do a lot better as a dub than it is a sub. Cause I didn't find the sub that funny. And then the second has the two sisters on it. Why do these have two DVDs? It's like, you got this, and then in here you got stocking, and then you have, I believe that's the, the, the two sisters, which you probably can't make out, but those are the two sisters. But what's on this third disc? Extras include trailers, penny and stocking, sanitary box, ghost explosion collection, ghost explosion collection documentary, TV promotional video, official homepage, Commercial collection, pre-airing commercial collection, now airing commercial co Oh my god, what is with this shit? Commercial collections, DVD commercial collections, talk live and anime at soft, at Loft Plus One, making of the lingerie scene, which I'm assuming is the only like anime s part of this, outtakes, US trailers, Texas songs. It actually went really into the whole... Yeah, they went really into the whole, uh, to the extras. There's a lot of extras on here, so, uh, for those who give a damn, there's a lot of commercial shit, and some of these I have no idea what the fuck they are, and then I see outtakes, which they have rarely put outtakes on DVDs, but then again, considering how much swearing I've heard in the fucking preview clips, I'm assuming there's a lot of swearing in here, which I have no problem with because I kind of was hoping for that, and I expected that, actually. Because I think fuck in English sounds funnier than fuck in Japanese. It's like, fuck, 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 fuck. Like, it's supposed to be English. And English is only funny after a point. Like, repetitive English doesn't sound funny. So when she was saying fuck in, like, episode 6, I was kind of like, okay. Also, I like the fact that they got the voice of Minato to play uh, Brief. I think it kind of works. And I will say this right now. Bitch characters in anime are done better in English than they are in Japanese. I think Minato's better in English. I think uh, Keo from Cat Planet Cuties is done better in English. I think a lot of like harem male actors or just wimpy male leads are done better in English. So that's Panty and Stocking with the coin. Where's the coin? The coin. Uh, once again, you can't get this off. It seems like a waste of money. But then again, this is probably for the retail release. So fuck it. It still seems stupid, but what, fuck it. And... I also got some, uh, I guess, some uh, Sentai Filmworks promotion cards. One for the Game Tama movie, and then like one for the Toan Kwan, which I have no fucking idea what this is, but it looks cool. Um, I need to actually watch this arc in the actual anime before I actually pick up the uh, movie, which covers that arc. I don't even remember. It's like a Bonacusa arc, I believe is what it's called. And the last thing I got was Ano Hano, the flower we saw that day, which I feel kind of ironic because we just found out yesterday that the Crunchyroll is fucking putting this on their site, which makes me feel kind of stupid for buying this. But at the same time, I heard the show was really good. It was something I wanted to try out, and I don't see anything else from United that I'm going to fuck with because not right now. Yeah, there's nothing I, nothing off the top of my head I was going to fuck with. I'm waiting for that wait and area season two, goddammit. That's what I want. And I'm probably going to upload another video about like some of the licenses and new shit we found out in Anime Expo. Expo. Um, all I know about Anohana is that it kind of has that same drama feel as... Uh, what? What is it? Kind of like... It, it, from, it may have that same kind of drama feel as like Ano Natsu De Matsu. Whoa. This feels really good. Why is... 
this is some high quality shit. This even, this actually feels better. This isn't just chipboard. Like you can see, if you can see, it's shiny. The Kimi no Tadoke box set isn't shiny like this. This is like really good quality. They must have stepped the quality game up because this shit looks beast. Also, I think this character is dead. Um, from what I've seen in previews, I think she's dead. I don't think that's a spoiler though. Uh, I think she died probably when they were little because she's the only character that doesn't look older. Like you'll see pictures like. There, I've seen pictures of these guys when they were younger, but she looks exactly the same. So I'm thinking she's dead. Uh, there might be some, and I'm looking forward to the drama for this. So let's just open this bitch up. They went, oh, these, this is, I love, the one thing no one can ever say, it has maybe high price, but fucking A, look at this shit. This is some quality shit. This looks nice. See? Look, this is some quality shit. And then, see, and then, see, that's the one they're kids, and she looks about the same. The only thing that looks different is that her hair is longer. But she looks almost blatantly the same. The boy looks obviously different. Uh, and this is Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And, of course, they had to put NIS promotion. So, Kimi no Todoke, Kanata Giri, Occult Academy, House of Five Leaves. I might need to try a Cold Academy of nothing else, but yeah. I haven't even watched Kimi no Tadoke yet. Wow, this is some really simple but simple cover art. Look at the DVD arc. You can't even tell which is Blu-ray. At least not from the cover alone. I think it says it, doesn't it? Yeah, this is Blu-ray. Uh, because I think the Blu-ray holds episodes 1 through 8, whereas the DVD only holds episodes 1 through 6. The second one is this girl, and I think this girl has, I mean, I, I know I have no idea of the plot, and I don't want any spoilers whatsoever, because I want to watch this and just enjoy it, and then you got these pictures and these characters on the back. They look different than they do on the cover. Yeah, she has long hair. This is the chick on the cover who has long hair with glasses. Why, why is her hair short in this one? I guess there's a lot of character development, I guess. I'm trying to see if anyone else looks different. No. The only thing that looks the only other thing that looks different is that uh he looks like he's lost weight. The fat dude looks like he's lost lost weight. And the DVD covers are about the same. There's just more it's just the same simpleness to it. Still looks cool, and then... Oh, this only has 11 episodes? The fuck? That's weird. Most most short series only have, like... Have, like, 12. 12 or 13. And then... So we got those. That is advertisement bullshit. And then we got this... Even the... Co yeah, even the uh, fucking book looks, like, in good quality. I'm surprised there's only 11 episodes. I wonder if the pages are any better quality, which really won't matter that much to me. So hit, oh. So you get like character bios. You even get to see the changes in some of these characters. Also, he wasn't fat, he was just shy looking. Oh, she did, maybe she did grow up. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Uh, I don't know any of these characters. I'll learn them as I watch the anime instead of looking at this. Uh, I will say this chick named Anru changed cemently. She doesn't wear glasses anymore, and for some reason her hair changed color, which probably means she dyed her hair. Uh, and for some reason, the same thing here. These other two characters, like the, the one right here. She, for some reason, gained glasses when she was older, and her hair grew out, which confuses the shit out of me. I'm not even reading the bio, because if I read the bio, I'm going to ruin things. I'm just going to show this and then I'll end it here because if I actually keep going, I might spoil something. So we'll just stop there, which is the main reason why I don't read these color books before I watch the anime, because I tend to spoil shit. That's the only problem I have with the books is that the books tend to hold spoilers, which I guess are really nice after you finish the anime. But, you know, before it's kind of like, yeah, I didn't need that. So NIS is stepping up their game. So if you want some really good quality shit, this one is like an... This one is in so much better quality than fucking Kimi no Tadoke, which I, th I think probably has something to do with the fact that this is only 11 episodes and this is the entire series. 
They had to do that or just stepping up their game. So we got this. Penny and stocking. But the magical coin that you get for killing demons, which I haven't killed one, so I guess that's a fake coin and God was fucking with me and then one piece is fine sixty three. So uh that is it for the unboxings. I'm probably gonna make another video right after this talking about the new licenses and things I wanna just discuss about the anime expo and all the announcements. And um that's it for this unboxing. So uh this has been the vlogs of game from your boy Terrell and I catch you guys. <laughs> Dude, I just realized I look like I just died and woke up from death. Like, my shirt's all, my shirt's torn up right here. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.